This is the process shot. I'm Michael, and I'm pretty sure I'm not crazy. And I've seen We Were There to Be There, a new short documentary film from Mike Plant and Jason Willis. It focuses on a few intermingled topics, centered primarily on the decision to hold a punk rock concert featuring the Cramps and the Mutants at the Napa State Hospital in California an asylum for those going through drug abuse or other mental or physical health issues. Along the way, those involved with the concert discussed the music scene at the time, the power and spread of video technology, and the political atmosphere of the time and its impact on places like Napa State. The film is an archival documentary with a great amount of footage from the concert itself. The other materials from the era are presented in a somewhat chaotic fashion, in line with the punk aesthetic of the film's subject, while managing to keep things comprehensible. It's a film that's more focused on education and information rather than immersion, which likely explains the focus on the political state surrounding the hospital at the time. It's not something that is touched upon at length, Rather, it's more of a bookend to the primary subject of the film. The context is a bit important, though less because of how it sets up the world surrounding the concert, and more because the film is otherwise pretty light on actual content. It's really that simple. There's concert footage and there's context, but the two aren't really all that well intertwined. They could have easily been split off into two separate projects, one that focuses on the political aspects of the punk scene of California, and another on the concert itself and the lead up to the event. We Were There To Be There tries to have both, but generally sticks to the second, with shades of the first. While it's a great archival piece, it's not something that's entirely comprehensive. We Were There to Be There. Mike Plant, Jason Willis, 2021. Two and a half stars. I'd say it's still worth a watch. That's the end of this review. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, and leave a comment if you think otherwise. Subscribe for more reviews like this. I do want to say that the old school video cameras are pretty neat, with the light trails that get left behind when you look directly into a bright light. But that's not really a stylistic choice I could actually talk about. That's just how it was back then.